So Nike recruits for all functional areas within the organization. Primarily, we're looking at students within the business realm as well as computer sciences, so IT, design, um, and sales, um, and, and product management as, as well. So it encompasses all majors. Um, we get this question asked a lot, and there is no secret potion, but there are some things that we look for in terms of how to assess the right candidate um, for the different roles that we recruit for for our interns. Um, you know, when we speak generalistically, we're looking for people who are passionate. We're looking for people with high energy um, that bring positive attitude, people that can demonstrate leadership capabilities, um, and people who just are really, really willing to push the envelope and really challenge themselves. Um, we're all about inspiration and innovation, so at the end of the day, you have to be able to show that you can play in and add value to our missions and objectives um, and that passion you know there's a lot of people out there that can say that they're passionate um, as we talk with students and candidates uh, we really know whether they really live out that passion and um, how that resonates with them and so again passion is really key because we want you to love what you're doing more than just coming in and looking for an internship or a job um, this is this you know potentially would be a long-term career for you and we want you to be su most successful um, so you have to like what you're doing and you have to want to have fun doing it while you know being paid for the position as well so Yeah, so there are a lot of things that we look for that kind of separates um, students and candidates from their competition. Um, typically, you know, it's nice if students can have additional experience under their belt. So you're looking about, you know, at internships as well as full-time experience. And we know that that can be challenging for students while they're in school, but even to think about what can you do while you're here that maybe you can um, enroll in clubs or specific memberships where, again, you can become a president of a marketing club um, or do things extracurricularly outside of school. So are you working in your community? Are you volunteering and giving back in that way? Um, you know, volunteering time and doing extra, extra activities that go above and outside of your curriculum, that's important for us to see because it shows that you're taking initiative. Um, and it also shows that maybe you don't have the time to have a full-time job, but you're able to do other things that stretches you and that develops your skill sets in other areas. Um, it's really about preparation and doing a lot of research in advance. Um, ultimately, if you're looking at a company, even when you think about a Nike, um, you know, UO has such a strong connection with Nike. Um, so then to even go deeper into the history and our backgrounds, um, you know, understanding where we started and where we're headed, um, and then kind of trying to figure out how you can insert yourself in that um, future vision of the organization, and then identifying what are the key areas that um, play into your strengths and your experiences so that you can focus on those positions as you think about applying to either summer internships or full-time positions. Um, are you able to connect the dots between you know, what you bring to the table and what a recruiter might be looking for in terms of, you know, experiences. And again, it may not be necessarily work experience, but if you've been able to articulate um, that you've been able to have that experience in school by participating in certain clubs and doing some volunteer work, then, you know, as long as you can translate that to us and articulate, to, you know, your skills to us, then that for us is key. So it helps you to stand out because most people are going to have similar experiences in school. Um, they may all participate in the same club. So then it's like, what makes you different? Um, when you look at rep when you think about your resume, especially applying to Nike. Um, we want to make sure that you understand how to know your audience. So if you're talking to a Nike, are you connected to sports and passionate about sports? Because that's what we do. Um, you know, maybe you don't play sports, but maybe you're a fan. Even if you're a fan of certain sports and you watch college football, for example, that's something that we might want to know about you because potentially you could be going into a role that is in football. Um, you know, if you do things that, you know, are just hobbies, we want to know about your hobbies because it tells us who you are. It gives us a sense of your flavor and what else you bring to the table. So maybe you snow snowboard or maybe you DJ on the side or whatever it is. We actually want to see those activities. So we want to see your experiences. We want to see your education, but we also want to know who are you? Because ultimately your resume, that's your introduction to, to yourself. That's, that's the way that you brand yourself to recruiters. And if they want to interview you, they have to, you have to give them something to bite on, some pieces of nuggets where they're um, intrigued and interested and then they want to talk with you more about, some, about a role.